Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Electric Vel is setting e-records. Win an election, get a moon rock. And Fruity Shoots Parachute Release protects drones from ground damage. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode with the latest news that's happening in the aviation community. So let's go ahead and start with Electric Vel is setting e-records. Pipistrol USA reports that over the course of 2020, Pipistrol delivered 111 certified Pipistrol Velis electric aircraft, as well as a number of the Pipistrol Alpha electro aircraft. One stunning stat that comes out of all of this is the report that for the first time ever, Pipistrol produced more electric aircraft than gasoline powered. 2021 seems to be equally trending, with more than 70 Pipistrol Velis aircraft on the order books and more expected. Because of the demand, Pipistrol HQ is ramping up production with a second shift to keep up with the orders. The Velis Electro is a two-seater aircraft intended primarily for pilot training. Slovenia-based Pipistrol is a small aircraft designer and manufacturer specializing in energy-efficient aircraft. Featuring fairly low 60 dBA noise levels, Velis Electro becomes everyone's good airplane neighbor by being quieter than other airplanes while producing no combustion gases at all. The Velis Electro joins a product lineup of similar, but conventionally powered aircraft. The aircraft is powered by the first certified electrical engine, the E811-268 MVLC, certified by EASA for Pipistrol on May 18th of last year. After the break, NTSB is having a hearing for Bryant helicopter crash. Those details and more after these messages. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General aviation, business jet, rotorcraft, commercial aircraft. Easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. So let's start with the NTSB will hold a public board meeting on February 9th at around 9.30 to determine the probable cause of the fatal January 26th helicopter crash that happened near Calabasas, California about a year ago. The crash killed Los Angeles Lakers legend Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others when it struck a fog-covered hillside in Calabasas. The Sikorsky S-76B helicopter collided with hilly terrain and was destroyed by impact forces and fire. Media interest has been heavy, and the crash now the subject of too many lawsuits to count, involving both the accident itself as well as the issues that occurred afterwards. EAA undertakes Aero Educate initiative. EAA has introduced AeroEducate, which they hope will bring an interactive, educational, and engaging experience to young people ages 5 to 18 beginning of this year. AeroEducate web-based resource provides clear, age-appropriate pathways to aviation and aerospace engagement, and even career paths. A multitude of turnkey, easy-to-use aviation-themed activities for teachers and EAA chapters can be used at sites ranging from classrooms to EAA chapter hangars. Liberty University names new dean for School of Aeronautics. Liberty University Provost and Chief Academic Officer Scott Hicks has appointed Dr. Rick Roof, Dean of the School of Aeronautics, one of the largest faith-based collegiate aviation programs in North America. He has served at Liberty University since 2012 as an online adjunct and instructional professor, instructional mentor for the School of Business, School of Engineering, and School of Aeronautics. 
Roof served as online chair for Liberty School of Aeronautics before becoming the interim dean in July of 2019. Boeing will deliver commercial planes ready to fly on 100% sustainable fuels. Boeing is setting an ambitious target to advance the long-term sustainability of commercial aviation, committing that its commercial planes are capable and certified to fly on 100% sustainable aviation fuels by 2030. Boeing has previously conducted successful test flights replacing petroleum jet fuel with 100% sustainable fuels to address the urgent challenge of climate change. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Win an election, get a moon rock. You know that NASA has some fears over the future of established programs when they're willing to let go of a moon rock to decorate the new president's office. So, in symbolic recognition of earlier generations, ambitions and accomplishments, and support for America's current moon to Mars exploration, a moon rock now sits in the Oval Office. At the request of the incoming Biden administration, NASA loaned the moon rock that was put on display in the Oval Office on January 20th. It is from the Lunar Sample Laboratory facility at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, and its display case is inscribed with the following. Apollo 17 astronaut Ronald Evans and moonwalkers Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan, the last humans to set foot on the moon, chipped this sample from a large boulder at the base of the North Massive in the Taurus Litro Valley, almost two miles from the lunar module. This 332 gram piece of moon, which was collected in 1972, is a 3.9 billion year old sample formed during the last large impact event on the near side of the moon, the Ibrium Impact Basin, which is 711 miles in diameter. After these messages, Ferdy Shoots Parachute Release protects drones from ground damage. More on that after the break. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. Fruity Shoots Parachute Release protects drones from ground damage. Fruity Shoots has launched the Raven on Landing Parachute Release, a device that allows a parachute to be automatically released from a payload upon landing. This mitigates potential damage caused by wind that could otherwise drag a valuable payload after landing. Unlike other on-landing release devices, the Raven on-landing parachute release is designed specifically for UAV and rocketry use and is lightweight, compact, and easy to use. In order to work, the ROPR has an internal hold timer that assures the parachute will not be released early after initial deployment due to opening bounce or other deployment shocks. The hold timer locks the device while the parachute is opening and unstable. After being under chute in steady descent for four to six seconds, the hold timer rotates to allow the release only after landing when the pull of the parachute unloads. Under no conditions can the parachute release early as long as the main parachute is open and the ROPR remains under load. This type of device has many applications for situations where having this parachute detached after landing is a huge benefit, such as landing drones, other UAV and rockets. 
Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We'll see you next time.